Keyframe Stretcher finally explained, at least for me. I mean, I finally fully understand Keyframe Stretcher. If you felt the same way that you know what the Keyframe Stretcher is for, but don't fully grasp the source start and source set controls, bear with me for a moment and hopefully all will become clear. Recently, I've been creating a new text effect for a client of mine. By the way, you can download it for free from my coffee page. Anyway, the fusion composition looks like this, pretty straightforward. All the keyframes sits in the text template node. As you see, the animation starts at frame zero and ends at frame 33. So if we take a look at keyframe stretcher, we have source start set to zero, which is beginning of the clip and source end to 120, which is actually length of our clip. The stretch start is set to zero because the animation starts there and stretch end set to 40. I could set it to 33, that would have the same effect because the animation ends at frame 33. I just put some margin. So without touching the length of the clip, this is how it looks. This is the original speed of our animation. If we move the stretch start and end outside of the animation time frame, like this, or click this checkbox, stretching effect should not touch our keyframes. Then when changing the length of the clip, it should not impact our keyframes. The animation will always look the same, I mean it will be played at the same speed regardless of the length of the clip. If we go too far and make the clip too short, the text will not show up entirely because the animation speed was not adjusted to the length of your clip. The animation simply has no time to finish. But let's go back to the starting point so the clip left 120 frames and stretch start and end as before. This is our normal, regular speed animation, exactly as we created. Now, if we increase the length of the clip, for instance, 150 frames, naturally the animation will slow down. But what if we want this length, but with original speed animation? Solution for that is to align a source end value with the actual length of the clip. So we need to set 150 frames now the animation is set at original speed and the whole clip lasts longer. Same rule applies when you want to shorten the clip. The animation will speed up, but this is not always what we want. And if we want to preserve the original speed as before, the source and control must equal the length of the clip. It's simple and annoying at the same time if you don't get it. Leave a comment if it was clear before for you or is it just me who invented the wheel again? Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.